Klopp can be kind of rough if they do run the arc mid lane. Uh, so I think it was a very clever kind of pick there from Arkosh. Still, we are going to have to wait out these final ban outs now. And Arkosh, of course, getting rid of the puck. Not wanting to have that when you are playing Quop. And what else don't you want? Like, Quop beats most, most lanes, if not just evens out. It should be a gunner hero we're waiting on. So, pretty Ember much any spirit. Out. Like, yeah, either of those banned out, I think, is safe. Maybe the storm, you don't have the best hold for a storm spirit here for Arkosh. I think that's a bit more worrisome compared to an Ember. But either one would be a good fit for Zoomers to close out with. Just gives him a lot of good control. They don't have the best team fight now. I mean, they don't have that combination with the Dark Willow. No access to Mars. Unless they go with something funky with Morris mid. But that doesn't sound like something Gunner would look forward to in this lineup. So, do you see the Storm Spirit banned out? It still gives access to something like the Ember here for Zoomers. And Arkosh are going to have to last pick that Pale Horse here, it looks like. So... Still pocketing that safe laner. Has to deal with a razor lane. Never fun for most uh, meta cores right now. Simply because the link is going to be a constant nuisance. So Arkosh will have to sort of sort that out themselves. See what they want to deal with a razor and deal with the elk. You are wanting to see something that can easily farm into the Scotty. To just get control back away from the alchemist. And... Not many options left for that one. Like, maybe you go illusion-based here. The only one left is, like, really Naga, which doesn't feel like it lines up all too well with Arkosh. It can be nice. You can set up with the net and start running around, but we have seen Naga Sirens fail a lot as well, and I don't think it lines up too well with how Pale Horse wants to run this game. Arkosh, final pickup. 12 seconds reserve time left to think about this one. Still that safe lane, like you mentioned, up for grabs here for Arkosh. So, it will be a Void Spirit popping out now. So, very confusing stuff here from Arkosh Gaming. Is that a safe lane list rack I'm looking at? Uh, I think so. Looks like we might get the safe lane Lesh for Pale Horse here. Um, Can Canis, uh, Senor King Canis Vulpus II <laughs> on the mid Void Spirit, perhaps, with an off lane Quap, an off lane Pango. There's a lot of options. To close out for Orkosh, what we do know on hand is that they hit level 6, they spike really hard. They got good push with the Leshrac, they've got good damage with the Quap and Void Spirit, they have decent control, although not amazing control. Zoomers can still abuse that with his closeout here on mid, something that can jump in and out. Again, Ember is an option if they want it. Ember against Void Spirit if they expect that mid is something that we've seen either side win out, so it's all down to mechanical skills, really, in that kind of matchup. But they're not sure. Like, they, they're just as confused here on the side of Zoomers as to who's lane against what. It's going to be a pretty hard last pick for four Zoomers. Just so much flexibility on both teams. You can already see Arkosh with this kind of draft can be online very, very quick and can be very aggressive up against the Alk. And that might just kind of be the game plan is just run over four Zoomers throughout the mid game and never allow the Alk to be online. The one main issue I'm seeing, though, is who's going to carry the game for Arkosh. Like, you've got this Leshrac who can use Diabolic Edict to push high ground, but that's all the push I see. Um, in mm. terms of any of these guys scaling to a position 1, I don't know. It, it, at maximum, I see, like, a pause 1.5, but it feels like we've got three position 2s right now on, uh, on the Arkosh draft. Yeah. It's uh, going to be strange, I think. Honestly, a right-click build Quap doesn't sound too bad in that case. If you want scaling, maybe you go for a Blood Torn build up. You can go Scotty Hex. Zoomers close out with the DK. So it looks like DK mid coming out here for Gunner. A really solid, of course, uh, holds its own on the lane, gives them some much needed push, which they were lacking last time. Okay. So we're gonna have to see how it lines up. Arkosh taking their time, picking their heroes. Look like they might still be sussing out amongst <laughs> themselves what's happening. At least I'm playing the Lush Rack, so. We know that okay. is the pass one quap. All right, so right click, sort of carry quap. It's been a while, but you look at Zoomer's draft, they actually don't have the best of hold as well for something like the quap, for something like the void spirit. They can easily just zip around here. What do you have? Cask, Bramble Maze, Cursed Crown, which you can dodge on a lot of these heroes. So Arkosh should still be able to play this run and gun game. 
The question is, can they run it fast enough? They need to melt this map before Sammy gets the same space he saw last time. And with this DK up on Zoomers, they've got an option to push as well. So you will have to watch that back and forth tower trades and should make for a very close game number two coming out here. It's going to be a very interesting matchup to, to finish us off for the night. See how it all works out. Does the draft that you have right now, John, does it make you feel confident? Uh, it, yeah, sort of. Like, uh, I've seen I've seen Quops go on safe lane before. Pale Horse has reassured me that he knows what he's doing. He says that about his PL as well, though. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think it actually works. Like, on paper, this is not too bad. Orchid Rush on Quop. And Void Spirit just goes for Yule's Ag, say. Then you re-itemize on your Quop to go right-click. Maybe you go Blood Torn. I think you would look for, say, Shiva's and Scotty buildup on a Quop. And then you take control on the Elk. The issue is you don't have very good Basher carriers between all of these cores. The Pangolier is your best choice for that stun true BKB. So you're going to need to get some gold flowing onto the Pango in that case. But it's, a, it's an interesting back and forth you don't see too often. We're just going to have to see how much... Arkosh gets early. That's the key thing. They need to win early. If they don't, then it's going to be hard to bounce back in there. I would agree with you. This could be the freest Alk game of Sammy's life if things go awry for Arkosh. But if things go well, for battle. could be a real bloodbath. You know how much Arkosh would enjoy that. I'm very curious to see Pale Horse going level 1 blink, that by the way. Genius. I can't believe oh. I'm seeing this you are dead. He's already Dead. committed it, so he's you trying to rush dead. over to the lane. Dead. He might just be blocking this large camp with that sentry ward, and yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. So really just rushing to make sure he gets the sentry down before anyone from four zoomers can see what he was up to. And now they're probably going to place a ward here by Brax, but that's going to be underneath vision if that is the case. For now, they're just smoke rotating, trying to find a pickoff, but nobody going to be around. Into the mid lane they go, perhaps. So Anus. This is... oh. Oh, they, he breaks the smoke. Cask is going to be there. And the roots are out as well with the dragon tail. They make sure they get the kill. Canis will use one resonant pulse and try to run away, but he knows he's dead. That was get a very nice start to this game number two for four zoomers. Yeah, it's an important kill to find. It's securing that first blood is big. Interesting to note as well, Brax is the one with the share tango, so it looks like they want that uh, that mid razor to face off against the flash rack and that uh, against the void spirit, and that can be tough for Senor King Canis Vulpus II. He's gonna have to watch himself there down mid, hold out on his own, be really careful about how much static link is given away here, and just hold out. I, I that really. Mix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Senor King Canis Wolf is the second, please no. Uh, this makes it hard for Pale Horse, right? He opts for Blink because he expects a Razor Lane. Now, there's no point to this. This this is really just to ensure that the Static Link doesn't do anything. But now he, he has no Wave Clear up against Gunner. Gunner's got the stun. Once he hits level 2, of course, that should repair itself, but it's a slower start for Arkosh just with this little, little switch up they've done here from Zoomers. Top lane could be a pretty big gank here onto Sammy. Crow trying to sneak up from behind. They also have the Rubik. They've been very patient with this. They'll go onto Husky instead. They'll leave Sammy B and they'll go for the Witch Doctor. And it looks like Husky is going to buy a lot of time as he's a man on the run. Split Earth's going to be juked out as well, but he should eventually go down and does finally die. I was kind of shocked that they didn't want to just go after Sammy instead. Looks like they just wanted to go for the easier target in the Witch Doctor. Yeah, I think that's a fair move to make. Sammy is fairly tanky. He's got 780 HP. It doesn't feel like you have the most amazing damage output here on the side of Arkosh. There's always potential for the Witch Doctor to turn around and reapply some pressure. So they go for the safer bet. They split their lanes back up. And overall, even start one to one. Sammy is going to have a freer time up top, though. Not as much Canis. harassment, though. Oh. He's really playing with fire here. Brax and Kane is just kind of man-fighting for a while. Dissimilate up. He might try and be a bit, a bit cheeky here on the Void Spirit. 
No, it looks like both of them are going to sit back and get back to farming. Expectations a close call there for either. Of course, down at the bot lane, Gunner and Ocean there on the DK and the Dark Willow. Uh, you've got Goat and Pale Horse going up against them. But now it looks like Gunner is pretty much uncontested on the DK, having a very nice time. No yeah, real harassment uh, coming out. It's a hard lane to shove Gunner away from. Like, you do have this DK versus Quap matchup, which actually isn't too bad for the Quap. And you can see Gunner in level 2, Dragon Blood up. It's just impossible zone. Goat can try his best, but he's already out of mana. And you get caught in a maze like this, it can be dicey. It can. Once that level 2 Dragon's Blood is there, you're kind of just safe as the DK, to say the least. Pro, top lane, along with Gremlo, to take a bit of harassment there from the Witch Doctor. Husky. Cool. Does get half his creep wave over. Now throws a cask out. They want to try and find Crow. Underneath this acid spray, it's a lot of damage, but Split Earth is there with the Diabolic Edict. Sammy staying near the creep wave to make sure that Edict is split, but he is still going to go down. Now Gremlo very fires up, still trying to fight with the Split Earth. Does connect. Can he actually get out of this? It looks like he just may be able to as Crow will still go into Husky. Gremlo still survives and turns around for a Split Earth that does not land, but it won't matter. They kill off both of them. And I can't oh, believe Gremlo is out of there scot-free. That's just the play. Gremlo dancing around him. As you mentioned last time, it's very easy to juke out that movement. You've got great base move speed. Sammy does TP back in. But this is an issue for the Alchemist. Like, you have the support Pango. You get a lucky shot off with a disarm. Suddenly, the Alchemist is just sitting there solely depending on Acid Spray to find his last hits. And that can throw off the Alchemist's game. Can throw off any safely in his game. So you do have to watch for that timing. You do have the TP back in from Glem Gremlo, but Crow is copying some hits. Not enough to really shove him away, though. Bot lane, Go gonna come back in onto Ocean and Gunner. And looks like they really still just can't do anything towards the DK, but they'll try onto Ocean. Though Shadow Strike never came out from the Quap, but now the Brambles is gonna be there to turn back around on this Queen of Pain. The Pale Horse will just blink right out of there. Meanwhile, top looks like Husky going to be chased down again. Sammy going to try and protect with the Acid Spray, but Crow with this Orb of Venom, or rather Orb of Corrosion, just being a real nuisance here towards Husky. Gremlo, while he couldn't get in to secure the kill, is still being very annoying here against Sammy. Still, Sammy is able to get 23 and 7 in terms of CS, so he's not too far behind at all. He's actually farming very nicely. It is a bit unfortunate, however, that they did lose out on the bounties. In fact, they may lose more down at the bot lane, but Gremlo is going to be caught out by Brax, who makes the rotation on the Razor. Yeah, early movement out does get them a very much needed kill. That is space for Senor King Canis Vulpus the second down mid to find that EXP he needs to catch up. Still needs to hit level 6. Brax has held this lane really well, as you'd expect from the Razor. So holding off on the spike of void spread is big. Overall, I think four zoomers are pretty happy with the lanes, even top. Like, yes, Sammy died, but still finding the last hits. You can't say the same for Pale Horse. So much pressure bought, down to 20 to 4. Gunner is slightly ahead, but you are lagging behind. And the co-op core does need that initial farm. You need to hit your level spikes to get your damage off, to get the ganks off, to get the snowball. And it doesn't look like it's lining up just yet for Pale Horse in that lane. Not yet. Zoom is definitely on track to have a very nice game this time. As, uh, every lane has basically gone their way. Props to Canis Volpus, John. He's managed to keep up in terms of CS, even up against the Razor. He's having a very nice time on that Void Spirit, just not as good as he would like. This is going to be one of those matchups where it feels like it is going to be fairly slow of a game up until you get those levels up on both teams. Before they really want to start moving as a unit. But they are probably just going to be farming for a while. It's the level 6 spikes we're looking for. In fact, you look at Canis, uh, Senor King Canis Vulpus the second's build. He doesn't have a single remnant. So you can't even get those stat setups with the rotations out. It's harder for him to snowball this way, but he did need to simulate lower 
on cooldown to get out of those static links. So you see the back and forth in terms of skill build up here as well. They're going to be scouting out the jungle. They could find his husky kill. Oh, they probably should. Husky throws out a cask. Simulate would you get out the stun from Canis and Husky will eventually die. Very nice simple kill there from the Void Spirit. Hope can get his phase boots up. Still get concerned though, like when you look at Sammy. This is when he starts farming stacks. Uh, Arkosh for now are not in a position to actually contest these stacks being taken. What they are going to do however is try and take down the towers ASAP and take over the map. But I think Sammy is already having a much better game than last game around. Yeah, his lane ended up a lot better. There are some forward wards here from Arkosh. They know, and there's the snipe from Pale Horse. <laughs> oh boy, I didn't quite catch that one, John, but I imagine it's just a sonic wave out, kills off the elk. Oh, yeah. Brats. Still top. They're trying to go into Goat. Goat TPing away is not even going to make it. The damage output from the Razor was a bit too high. Uh, still happy though, you got the elk. Yeah, you got the elk. The one thing for zoomers is they hold on to that top tier one. So the push didn't quite come out with your left track with the edict. Um, our clash are probably gonna have to work again to get that done. Of course, with that kill on the elk, they do manage to get the D ward, knowing that their jungle was warded down. But it's a it, it was a costly mistake, and you're happy enough. You got the value from that ward with that kill on Pale Horse. Uh, still keen to see what he builds into. He's holding out on his item build so far, just going with the two nulls to get started. But they are grouping up top once more, and Brax could be the target if he's not careful, but he TPs home. So they're going to try to go for the tower trades now. You do have Gunner already popping his dragon form, looking down bot to keep that shove up. You do have Crow around along with our Void Spirit to hold off, though. I think the, uh, the normal kind of Witch's Blade build on Pale Horse might be pretty nice here. Just with all the magic damage you get up against the DK, Elk, and Razor. I don't think it'd be too bad. Still waiting to just queue something up. Bot lane gonna be protected here by Arkosh, but there is a lot of heroes and they do get the Dragon Tail off. Root is there as well. Kane is gonna go for the Dissimulate and gets himself out. But Gunner is still chasing him down and just overall just wants the tower gone. Looks like Arkosh are not going to be able to protect this. But instead, they have started pushing in the mid lane. And while that's happening, Brax does kill off Crow. Yeah, it's a solid pickup. They find the objective as well. Or at least they should be able to find that. Immediate smoke. And try to connect and try to punish Pale Horse here. You've got to lock him down first. It's very hard to kill off a quap. Maybe if she blinks back towards you, you're pretty happy. Haste rune. Oh, they're going to take it, but the brambles do not land. Casp does. Brax, he has a haste, so he can just keep chasing them down. He's going to choose to go on to Ghost. So the Ruby can lose a lot of attack, but he doesn't really care too much. As Crow does go for the Rolling Thunder. Brax not able to stick around too much longer as the oh, split the up. Does connect from Gremlo and Pale Horse. He might die on the Quap, but does eventually go down. But you've still got to be pretty satisfied with the trade. Oh, definitely. This lines up for a really good shove down mid now. That forces Gunner to come back instead of farming that bot wave, and he might be in danger. It's simulate lands. Terrorize is going to be pretty nice from Ocean. And Gunner will now try and turn back around with the DK. Crow, pretty low, but is still going to be able to walk out. But they do successfully protect that T1 mid. In fact, the Death Ward flying out from Husky. Just to try and ensure they get something. But now Pale Horse is back with a big Sonic Wave. Landing on two. Husky should die. And Gunner, he's probably not going to be too safe either. As Canis is still going for this kill. Pale Horse has Blink in a second. They could go for this. But they'll decide not to as Gunner has healed up quite a bit. And they still just want the T1 mid gone. Gunner he turns back around to Canis. Now the TP is in. Canis oh. does step back in. On to Gunner. I'm not sure about that one. Crow, or rather Goat, does die. Canis going to try and TP out. Can they get the stun off in time? Not quite. So they just get a Rubik kill for their trouble. And they continue to protect that mid T1. 
Yeah, they get a couple of nice pickups. There's a 4K lead for Zoomers, so we are seeing this investment into Sammy Boy actually pay off because the other cores aren't lagging too far behind. You've got Brax up there right next to Sammy in terms of standings. Arkosh, their cores are taking the back seat this time. Pale Horse not able to farm up as fast. He is going for this old school Mjolnir build. So it's a right click quap indeed coming through. We're going to have to see him again prioritize the Yeshivas and maybe a Scotty up down the line. But just having the Mjolnir does allow some good steady farm coming through for the Queen of Pain. Uh, four Zoomers though aren't resting. They want to keep that aggression up. They're going to keep hunting, buying time for the Alchemy. Canis, let me chase down. He has another step charge. Simulate. He's buying himself a lot of time as he goes the other way, but Terrorize is going to land a very nice Terrorize from Ocean with the Bedlam as well. Canis could not step away. Just couldn't make it in time that time around. And now mid lane, they've started another team fight. Gremlo about to drop, does at least get the tier 1 tower. Gunner's still alive, trying to avoid the roll, does juke it out nicely with the sidestep, but it's not going to be enough. Now Brax. Trying to finish off Goat. Does get him with the illusions. Very nice there for Brax. A triple kill out on the Razor. Good set of kills coming out for Zoomers. They lose their mid tier one, but they've gotten compensation from it just by having these kills fly out. And again, you're seeing that farm distribution for Zoomers line up a lot better. 4k lead, 10 to 10. They have lost more map presence, but they are finding the better end of trades. Uh, Arkosh right now, need to be careful. You're not off to a running start on Senor King, Canis Volpus the second. He's just not up there yet. He's skipping the Ewolds. He's going straight for Ags. He wants control. And that does mean that spike for the Void Spirit is going to come out way later than it should be. Bot lane. They know Gremlo's in that tree line. Plasma Field going to give the vision. They get the cast with the Melodict. And Gremlo, he could try to at least take one with him. Husky's going to try and survive in the meantime and does make it out. And four Zoomers now, a 5k net worth lead, looking very confident in this game too. As all this time, Sammy Boy's just been freely farming. We'll have the SNY up soon and... <laughs> Who's he saying that to, John? Whose clarity was it? My... Canis Volpus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Senor King Canis Volpus a second, please. Uh, calm down. It's not been a good game for you just yet, Canis Volpus, uh, to say all of this. He doesn't care. And he's John. standing there. He does no, he not. Definitely doesn't. This is Canis Volpus we're talking about. Uh, they're going to they're, they're gonna have a Sammy Boy Shrill, though. Gunner, right in the mid lane, onto that Rubik. They'll take down Goat and Brax with the Static Link trying to chase down Canis Volpus. Like, he'll be alright. Can't say the same for the mid tier 1 tower, however. Gunner. Chipping away, Rolling Thunder, gonna be cancelled. Now Terrorize gonna land on two. A very nice Terrorize, gonna make sure Crow does die. Pale Horse does not have a blink away. He'll Sonic wave, but it's gonna be right through the gap. He hit literally nobody. Oh boy. And Gunner gives him the tip on top. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really awkward now for Arkosh. You're not finding any of these engagements. They're giving a lot, a lot of gold to decide Zubris and again, Gremlo. Uh-oh. Yeah, they're falling apart, John. Brax gets oh, a kill. Man. Diabolic Edict still doing damage. So here comes a turnaround from Canis, but he misses the Dissimilate. Oh, he doesn't have any step charges either. They might just chase him down again. Oh, boy. Melodic there. He's going to try and snipe the Razor. He can't get it in time, and the Melodic will eventually kill him off. Mid lane Goat also dies to Sammy. Oh, it, it really has fallen apart. This Arkosh draft, I, I can say right now, I don't think it's going to work. Just based on how far behind they are. It takes so much farm to get a safe lane quap up and running and nah. Oh, Dragon Tail there with the Curse Crown and the Brambles with the Bedlam. Pale Horse just not able to get any free time to farm and a nice sidestep again against Crow, not letting that Rolling Thunder hit. Crow is just going around in circles right now, doing donuts. Swashbuckle and Fade Bolt though will prove to be enough. Won't really get Gunner. Gunner's gonna stick around. He has the Dragon Form back up in three seconds. But no, up towards the top lane where Gremlo is trying to TP, but oh, the TP man. is cancelled. And it's another kill there for Brax. Oh, dear. 
It's not looking good for Arkosh. They're not finding any sort of farm. They're not getting any of their item timings out. They're not finding any of their rotations out as well. They need to group us five. That's the biggest issue for Arkosh. They're not playing together as a team. It is sort of falling flat, and they double smoke as well. Like, they, they don't even synchronize that smoke use. Just a wasting a resource. Still, maybe they find something here going hunting. Let's hope they find something, John. It's it's looking very rough for them. Brax, that'll be a nice pickup. They lift him up. It's like Brax is just going to die. It's a very nice smoke rotation out from Arkosh. But now the counter smoke. They've got the high ground. They spot out Gremlo, and that is going to be a very dead left track. Pretty much an even trade. Just both offlaners going down. Yeah, and it's it's still slightly better coming out here for Arkosh, considering that Rax is a bit more net worth bouncing out, and that did go the way of Pale Horse. So you are getting something on your quap now. It is going to be a BKB rush here for Pale Horse. I don't know about this. It, it feels like you don't have enough presence in the front, you don't have enough damage to really just stand and fight there once you use your spells. And now you have this uh, BKB flying out for Sammy. So he's got his blink, he's got the uh, Battle Fury, and of course the Sanjin Yasha up. The Alk is looking like a very scary beast. 17k net worth, 10k up from the next Arkosh hero. And that just means Arkosh is not on their due diligence compared to game one. They just haven't stopped that farm. And here we go again up top. Uh, Gremlo very low already, Husky. Can't get the stun off, but might eventually get Goat. Meanwhile, Pale Horse from the backside coming in to kill off the Witch Doctor. Brax still trying to kill off Gremlo, but he's going to be just fine. Sonic Wave actually committed onto Husky to make sure they at least get the support kill. But Brax is still able to just run away, and now they're going to try and counter-initiate. Back onto the Pango. That'll be Crow gone. Goat also in a lot of danger as Ocean controlling him up. He'll die now, and Gremlo is back into this team fight onto Ocean. But he's been static linked and may just die to Brax, who will continue to chase him down. And now even Gunner, with a media hammer build up, gives him the bull whip before he does go down. <laughs> and now I've seen everything, John. Media hammer DK. That was a thing. It, it, it was a thing initially, right? When Mr. Hammer really? came out? I think it was, That's if I recall. Maybe, not the most common, but it lines up well with a dragon tail. You get the dragon tail off, you can the meteor hammer, you push like crazy. And zoomers now just have all the space in the world. There is no room for Arkosh to find his bounce back, although Sammy... Sammy, he's going to be fine. They haven't got a way to, to slow down the heals that he's got from this chemical rage, so he'll just turn right back around. They could try to surround him, but while he's got that BKB active, they can't kill him. He's got Gunner on the oh, high ground as well to help him out, but Pale Horse is going to jump in, but Meteor Hammer is going to be cancelled by Gremlo. Now they kill off Crow, and they'll go for more. Gremlo trying to run in back Pale Horse. He'll be able to blink away. They might kill Gunner, and they do, but at what cost? The cast perfect there from Husky. And everything continues to just go wrong here for Arkosh Gaming. <laughs> yeah, it's... it's it's just not lining up. Uh, Hashtag I set that up. <laughs> Thank you, Gunner. Uh, this this uh, the safe lane quap. It's it's it just didn't get enough space, man. Like it's saving up for the ags. I don't think the ags is gonna be enough. Like the damage output is good. The cooldown reduction is nice. But the the farming is just not lining up. Like Pale Horse just can't farm fast enough to get these items up. And even Canis Vulpus, like this build, going for really late levels in the Aether Remnant, trying to rush the Ags. It's, again, there's just not enough space in the world to get that done, and it all boils down to the fact that Brax went mid. Like, Pale Horse expected to be up against the Razor Lane, and it didn't come out. And that just ruined the lineup of uh, Arkosh. And we are Roshan now for four Zoomers. AC almost complete on Sammy. Is completed on Sammy. Let's have the full AC up now. Battle Fury on the deck. He's having trouble kind of keeping track of what items he needs to keep. <laughs> uh, 
the side of Arkosh at least are trying to find that bot tier one and with Gremlo you can melt these objectives. Still, they need every single bit of gold they can get. It's it's really bad when you see your off lane Lush have to go for a Glimmer Cape. Like this is the situation we're in right now on Arkosh and it won't. Yeah, Pale Horse is in trouble. He blinked away once. Brax saw which way he went. He's got another one. He's going to go to the left this time. And looks like he should be okay. Unless Brax checks again with the Plasma Field and that tree line. But I think he's more than satisfied just denying a full creep wave away. And just continuing the farm up. He's almost got his BKB up now on the Razor. In fact, Terrorize Ocean does land it on the Quap. They get him in the end. It's it's just clean for, for Zoomers. They're all around the map. They're finding these kills. Gremlo at least finds a tier 2 bot in exchange. So they get a little bit more gold. They get an area to play now on the side of Arkosh. But they're losing map space as well. They still hold on to the Aegis here on Zoomers. And... And they're not going to back off. There's no reason for Sammy to be scared at all. He's saving up for that very balanced swift blink on the Alchemist. And once he has that up, quite frankly, you have nothing to contend with. You have no durability against the Alk. You have no damage for the Alk yet. And it's a very scary point for Arkosh in his high ground defense. Well, here it comes. The high ground needs to start now. They've got the Agony Scepter off from Pale Horse, but he's left himself no buyback goal. It may not matter, however, as this Alk is so far ahead, they just need a win in this team fight. Kami out of Chemical Rage, still has the Aegis. Sonic Wave there, oh. they get through the Aegis, that's one line. Coming in with the Rolling Thunder, they stun him up another time. Still no Chemical Rage, but he gets the BKB off. And that'll be enough, I think Sammy might just have to wait out that Chemical Rage cooldown and... Let's go back to farming. Maybe get that swift blink up first. There's no need to rush here for Zoomers. Yeah, and they, they can just rinse and repeat going into the high ground. That tier 3 is already down to 700 HP. They can clean up the rest of the outer towers. It's a fresh BKB now on Brax. So you can stand in front and there's just nothing to stop this. Like, they take that tier 2 mid. They can look high ground again and look at that meteor hammer. Oh. Canis, he missed the Aether Remnant, so Goat had to take the Meteor Hammer. And they'll go high ground again. Every time Chemical Rage is off cooldown, you may as well go. However, down at the bot lane, Gremlo was split pushing with the Leshrac, and does get a fair bit of damage out. Gunner, oh. he can stun him up in time. So now they won't have to worry about that bot lane being split pushed in. But Arkosh won't have to worry about a DK being here for the next team fight. It, it hurts Arkosh a lot more. They need the Leshrac for the defense. They went for the Ag Shard upgrade on Gremlo for that split Earth. And that control was what gave them the Aegis kill. So they need to watch out. Like Sonic Wave just doesn't do enough by itself. Yeah, I think he's just got the Ag Scepter to keep pushing out the wave. It's nice little deny there by Crow. Chemical Rage up in three. Sammy doesn't want to risk it. No need to. Brax is currently being chased by Pale Horse. Have another blink up in a second. He should be just fine. They are trying to group around this quap. But Pale Horse now is going after bounties. Gunner is going to take the one to the south. Meanwhile, Brax spotting out Pale Horse again. Plasma Field won't connect that time. While all this is happening. Sammy's trying to push in the top lane, but now he's been controlled up. He gets the BKB off in time, however, and now turns it right back around onto Gremlo, and they do get the Lesh Rack, and I think Crow won't be really safe either. But he does get the Swashbuckle away. Back to that top racks they go. But Arkosh, they continue to hold this high ground. That Rax is still not dead. Yeah, I think Zoomers are fine with that, though. Like, they may not be getting too much uh, progression there. They are still finding this steady influx of gold. They know they're ahead. Um, Arkosh's cores are still way too far behind to get anything done. At the least, you're starting to see that gap between Pale Horse and the other cores uh, narrow down a bit. Like, uh, Pale Horse is only about uh, 
three thousand gold behind Brax, which isn't too bad. Oh, that is signs of life, though. Yule's up on the Dragon Knight. Sammy, he does kill off Pale Horse up at that top lane, but Gunner will go down at the bot lane. That is Pale Horse without buyback, though. So you are going to probably be able to finish that Rax off now, knowing the Quop isn't around. Yeah, there, there's nothing stopping him. Sammy can just machine gun down. No worries in the world except for that disarm, which is n annoying, but not enough to really get a defensive win, although... Needs to get that BKB off, but the Rolling Thunder connects. It's like they're pretty confident there's no follow-up damage anyway. In fact, Brax is going back in. He pops his PKB charge. He's going to kill Crow. Crow's dead. They can get the rain tracks now. Hell, they might be able to go mid. Once again, though, quite conservative play here from Four Zoom. Yeah, they don't want to risk throwing it away. They've got such a huge lead that if you misstep once on Sammy, the bounce back is going to be huge for Arkosh. So they respect Gremlo. that power, although Gremlo... Nah. Sammy? He's going to jump away with the uh, unstable concoction. Paladin Sword just on the deck right now. Pick it up. Gremlo might be too far forward. Curse Crown is out. Gonna be able to just run and use himself up. <laughs> oh, and Goat's got that shards as well, so he yeah. can, he could just lift Gremlo back to the high crown. Yeah, that's that's the play to make now, as they do have uh, the Aether Lens up as well. They're gonna look for that defense. <laughs> Crow gonna go in with the Rolling Thunder. They have caught out the Witch Doctor. Sammy's going to jump in, however, trying to go after Gremlo. They've almost got that kill. Breathe fire, not going to be enough either, but Gunnar does eventually get it. And now he's got the Dragon Tail off onto the Void Spirit with the Meteor Hammer and the Terrorize. They've locked him up for quite a long time, and they're going to be able to get the kill. This Octarine Core DK is apparently the new thing. <laughs> it was uh, oh God. just... After Pale Horse's time, John, he hasn't he hasn't picked up on the Octarine Core DK yet. Sonic oh, Wave boy. is there, just clearing out the wave again. And they are successfully holding, but they aren't going to be 30k gold behind. Yeah, this is this is draining for Arkosh. Like they they must be feeling uh, pretty fatigued at this point. They they do still have options to access. But Abyssal now up for Sammy. The tools just keep coming in. His right look's going to be insane. You can't even hope to man fight him at this point. And just have to be really cautious in the high ground defense. Again, we need to see Crow get big Rolling Thunders off. And just really uh, kind of try to get that on. Although Gremlo up top. Trying to do Gremlo things, but Bedlam is out from Ocean with the Curse Crown. And it's just so much damage output. Media Hammer not going to quite land in time, but it won't matter. They've got him. Of course, in the mid lane, Sammy is cleaning up everyone else. They got Crow on the Pango. As four Zoomers st still just seem very happy to keep farming up. Even with two heroes down. I guess as long as you control this whole map, there's not really much in the way of a comeback for Akosh. They can't get any gold. Yeah. Nah, it's just not progressing. Pale Horse has stalled out since getting that uh, Sanj up and since the Ag, so you'd see more and Gunner. Bin, Gunner, Dragon Tail is there, but the lift back once again from the Rubik gonna save the day. Look at Goat. Little Dragon. And he has the Ag's upgrade, the Ag Shard upgrade, so he has the Fireball. <laughs> the tiny little Dragon with that much spit, that's, that's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, it's adorable. Look at it. <laughs> Sonic Wave is there. They've almost got Sammy. Oh, Rolling Thunder Sam out as well. Sammy is going to die. No. Your life's no purpose, but your Doesn't have buyback. <laughs> and Canis lets him know about it. Talk about oh, God. Acting. You uh, are dead. Senior, senior dead. King Canis Vulpus II. Just once again flexing muscle where he ought not to, as he is well, five, dragon, six, 5 Dragon on that dragon action, John. Mid lane. 
Here goes Goat. Brax. For more. Buyback is there from Goat. Not really going to lead to much. That'll pretty much be it. Looks like Gunner's going to TP back to defend the top lane. Gremlo. No, it's Pale Horse, in fact, doing stuff up the top lane, but he's been stunned up. Into the Meaty Hammer again. Pale Horse. You don't want to die like that. Nah, it's not what you want, but he is trying to get some space out. He's just trying to save up for his Sanji and Kaya. If you catch Rats. out one... Hey, pops his BKB, TP's out. Looks like he's going to be just fine. They've got nothing to go through the BKB. So that's a, always going to be a guaranteed TP way. Yeah. But Arkosh is still holding. And the high ground still stands, and that's what matters. It's just when you're 34k behind, it's hard to see an opening. Yeah. <laughs> open open Dota Plus uh, right now, Mike. Uh, it says 100% Jesus. for the side of four zoomers. <laughs> Our <laughs> goat just wants mini dragon. Of course. It's uh, all he wants now. I mean, why the hell give not? It to the guy. Give him the dragon. It's not like it's it's not like it's gonna be too game changing. Just give the dragon away. Come and on. It's this is gonna be the whole storyline of the new anime, John. Just Rubik take <laughs> dragons form and that's it. They just fight as dragons. It's amazing. Yeah. You just revealed the plot. We told you that's under NDA. What's wrong with you, Mike? Roshan being taken by four zoomers now. The Roshan getting very, very low, and it looks like there's going to be no contest here from Arkosh. Well, maybe there is. There's a smoke out. Arkosh may just make it in time, as it's actually going quite slowly. They'll get started onto the Razor. Jump out here from Sammy. They're not going to finish off the Roche, but take the team fight. They'll kill off Gremlo straight away. Brax is still alive on the Razor. Now Pale Horse has gone on the Quap, and Canis has no way out. He's going to try... Running back towards Sammy, hoping that'll work, but it does not. All of Arkosh is down without buyback apart from Crow. And Gunnar just denied off the Aegis. Just, just, <laughs> just. <laughs> Sammy doesn't need it. Uh, no. Crow. Well, nice dodge on the Terrorize. Rolling Thunder, but he's taking so much damage down. That's a dieback, and that's GG. Pale Horse calls it. And then it'll end in a one-to-one -one for this series. As we do have a pause out from Husky. What's this all about? Sorry. My captain is toxic. <laughs> he just left. <laughs> He's done. Uh, <laughs> uh, we can wait to see. Arkosh. He said pizza, of course. Of course. Still. Four Zoomers, they get this uh, draft working out. <laughs> GG. <laughs> you gotta love it. You know, they, Arkosh, they gave it, they can take it. It's always nice to see. Lots of strong words from both sides, but Four Zoomers does force out the draw. And you know what it boils down to here, Mike? It boils... Did it not GG out? I thought it was not there. It boils yes. down to the fact that... It's a legitimate they, fake They cancelled it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, here we go. Sammy, gun jumps in, takes down Grimlo. Look at how fast he is, jeez. <laughs> Our GGs seem to be broken. Dragon Tail, Media Hammer again. They're just gonna just continue fountain farming them. <laughs> Pale Horse <laughs> goes down. Good. And they do at least get Brax. Sammy's actually quite low as well on the Alchemist. And it won't really matter though. Kana's fault for dying again. And, well at least Ocean's hit in the Ancient. Pro's calling another GG now. Gunner is going to tie to the fountain. <laughs> Sammy jumps right in. He's going to tie as well. What? And Ocean's like, wait a minute. I, someone's going to hit this Ancient with me. Oh, Rolling Thunder. See? Crow's going to try and buy this time. Yule's up. Crow going to turn right back around through the Shadow Realm. And that'll be it. They finally finish it off. <laughs> oh, my God. Zoomers, do you finally close it out? Arkosh... They tried something different, right? They tried the safe lane co-op, which we haven't seen in forever, but it got immediately countered by a simple lane swap. Like, Brax just went mid instead, expecting that. 
counter movement out, and it just fell apart. He went level one blink for the sole purpose of expecting a razor in lane. And what what did he have level one? He had nothing to deal with Gunner. The mid lane was a mess for Senor King, Canis Vulpus the second, and Arkosh this time couldn't punish the side of Zoomers for going into the Alk. So very well played from for Zoomers for forcing this draft out on Arkosh. And well, the demons probably not going to get. That big of a ration of uh, cattle litter tonight. I know I'm not going to have too much, Mike. No, absolutely not. And of course, with that, John, that is it for tonight. We'll be back tomorrow for some more great Dota over on the uh, North American and South American region. But for tonight, that is it. It's MLP Dota and John X Fire, and we'll catch you all again tomorrow night uh, for some more great Dota. See ya.